funny story. One time I'm walking with Stefan from Deftones in uh, an Ozfest, always hanging out, and the people, kids around the fence right there, Christian, Dino! And Stefan's like, oh, nah. man, I need to lose weight. No way. I swear to God, dude. He's like, oh, man, I need to lose weight. That's embarrassing. The public is ignorant sometimes. All right, brother, fire away, man. <laughs> so to start, simple question. Can, may, can you present yourself? My name is Sen Dog. My name is Billy Motherfucking G. My name is Rogelio Lozano. <laughs> My name is Cow. Moo. <laughs> and we are powerful. <laughs> What are your influence? A little of Cypress Hill, Downset, Fear Factory, of course, but there are other things now for you. Just, uh, just everyday, you know, uh, musical influences, you know, like James Brown, like Elvis Presley and Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, you know, Rick James, Run DMC, you know, fucking Aerosmith, Van Halen. I mean, pretty much everything. If you yeah. do a music right, you'll influence me. No limits. Yeah. Um, what music influences? Yeah, for the band. For the band? Yeah. I think the... the yeah. Okay, now I gotta start that over again. Uh, for Power Flow. No, uh, that's cool, because that influences you. Yeah, okay. I, think, I thought oh, yeah. it was great, what you, Like, James Brown. makes up the band. I, like, I'm not, uh, um, influenced by, I think, how do I say this? For me, the influences already came. Growing up, it was everybody from Kiss, Black Sabbath, to Beethoven, Bach, um, Bad Brains, everything in between. You know, I'm not influenced by what's on the radio right now. That shit already happened, and now I just create the stuff out of those influences. Um, I have a few albums I listen to, you know, to be inspired. Um, but I like to uh, listen to all types of genres, whether it be, uh, you know, uh, classic rock or oldies or, or uh, symphonies. And, and I just try to find different uh, templates of music, different arrangements. Um, so that's what I look for when, if I'm trying to get inspired to write or maybe just nothing at all, you know. So maybe sometimes silence. but. But, you know, sometimes I'll listen to a lot of rap, yeah. and sometimes it's a lot of heavy metal, or just everything, you know, I like, yeah, day. like, yeah, I don't mind listening to, you know, Neil Young or Coldplay, you know, so, you know, just a different, di sometimes I get inspired by the templates and the, the arrangements and stuff. I mean, as an individual, there's every genre has something in it that probably has influenced me, even country maybe. But um, for Power Flow, it's really the guys that I'm playing with, all these guys. Every band that they're in or, or their legacies had an influence on me. Cypress is one of my favorite all-time hip-hop bands. Bi has one of my favorite bands. Downset, I used to listen to the first two Downset records on rotation in 95 and 96 when I was on tour. And the, the people behind it and, you know, that, their inspiration. When if we if they tell me let's write some music together today, I'm inspired. You know what I mean? That's that's really it's really the people around me that inspire me. Okay, fine. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, after be real, it's your turn to uh, to uh, sing in a metal band. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe powerful, <laughs> right? Uh, how did you have the idea uh, and why did you go? Why did you do it? Well, <laughs> fuck, I mean, <laughs> that's a real fucked up question, but I'm going to answer it. Um, you know, I was we were doing Cypress Hill tours, and we'd come home, and then Be Real would go do his own solo tours. And I was sitting around my house bored, um, so I decided to start recording, you know, uh, music, you know, on my own solo. Yeah. And that's when I approached Roy about writing me a, a couple tracks or whatever, and he did that. But the whole time, I never... Like I never wanted to do like a solo hip hop album or nothing. Like I feel I'm, I feel that I'm strongest, you know, with a live, <clears throat> with a live metal band, and that gets my most, uh, gets my most energy and ideas going. Um, so basically, you know, I started Power Flow as just as a, as an outlet and avenue to still be creative, and not be, you know, like stuck in in the hip hop genre or realm. 
to do the same thing all the time? Uh, no, not doing the same thing all the time. And by the time when uh, Be Real told me, you know, that he was working out with the Prophets of Rage guys and all that, Power Flow already had like eight songs written and recorded already. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, it was just. Uh, you have the same idea at the same time? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it was the same idea at the same time. I think we were recording Power Flow before those guys even started getting together. Yeah. You know? Um, and I'm just being me, man. I'm not. I'm not just because you know B Real and Tom Morello and those Chuck D got together and did, you know, their thing. That didn't inspire me to go and do Power Flow. <clears throat> I was already doing Power Flow before all that. Yeah. So you know, I just want people to know that you know I'm not trying to be like those guys. You know, Power Flow stands on its own two feet. Yeah. So it's your idea to uh, create Power Flow. Yeah, yeah, kind of. It was, it was my idea, and, and Roya helped me, you know, to get the first couple songs going. And, uh, you know, you know, two, three songs in, and I felt like, you know, this could be, maybe it could be a good band or something. So I approached Christian, I went and visited him at his house, talked to him, and he's recovering from a, you know, terrible motorcycle accident. And uh, I go, I told him, dude, if, if you could walk, when this shit's done, you know, I'd love to have you in it. And he he agreed, and then we approached Billy on a on, on more of a producer level, you know, and we went did some songs with him. And then the the guys were like, man, we should get Billy in the band too, you know. And then it, he said yeah, and he said no, and he said yeah, and he said no, and he said yeah, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> so it's always we, business. Yeah, I was for senators. Uh, me money he never did <laughs> yeah but I, it was always you know when, once I decided that we're gonna go for it um, then it was like yeah you know let's make a band out of this and the the name the word power flow is uh, is what Rogelio what Roy describes as when you uh, when you're an MC you're a rapper and you uh, and you rap over heavy metal music you're power flowing yeah you know what I mean yeah so that's that's where the name comes from power flow okay Ben reminds me of the good hardcore fusion stuff that I listened with my dad. Uh, the first Mucky Bob, Don't Set, What Does They Out. Uh, is it difficult to be famous now with all the kind of old band you know uh, in the sound? Uh, even if you are a super group with all uh, with you guys. <laughs> is it difficult to be famous now? Yeah. In music? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of bullshit out there, man. And fucking YouTube guys that never sold one fucking record but got 800 million fucking views on their YouTube shit. And that's what the labels are looking at. To okay, this guy's already got 800 million followers. Let's sign him. You know what I mean? There's a there's a shortage. There's a lack of creativity going on right now. You know what I mean? So if you're trying to tell me, ask me, is it, was it difficult to get together with these guys and actually become a unit in a group and come out and make something? Yeah, because you don't know, you know, if the world's gonna accept you or not. Yeah. You know, there's, it's, you know, hip hop is in a state of glam rap. You know, and what we do is very hardcore, you know, hardcore thing. And you know, people are looking for the beautiful people in life, and you know, the Kanye Wests and and those guys. You know, people are checking for that. So yeah, it was difficult knowing that. You know, I'm going into something brand new that I've never been into, and I'm gonna work my ass off. It was difficult, but only in the in the terms of like how the public's gonna perceive it and understand it, because you know sometimes they they just don't get it. But I think with this band right here, we we actually done it right and and put all the right elements into it, so that we're able to um, you know succeed and have people recognize it as like a you know a bona fide you know real fucking deal, you know. I don't know if you want to answer. <laughs> My man, fill it all up. It's all good. <laughs> I'll take the next one. Okay. You play this afternoon on the Mate Stage 2, so do you have something to say for your fans or for the people who... We're gonna call fuck Mate Stage 1 up. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've, been waiting, we've been waiting to play France for, for, since we started. Um, France has always been a, a warm place for us to come with all of our bands. So uh, we're looking forward to having uh, France be a second home for Power Flow. And so today is going to set off that relationship, and uh, it'll never be the same. I don't know. Few answers. What? I have a message to pass for your fans tonight. I don't know. 
um, you know, for all of our fans, you know, for powerful fans or or fans of our, you know, prior bands, you know, in, in, in France, we just want to say, you know, collectively, thank you very much. Every member in my band has over 25 years of service to the music industry. And they want to say thank you for all the support and helping us build our careers, you know, feed our children and, you know, and take care of our parents and all that stuff. So, you know, we don't take that lightly. You know, fan support is the most important thing in this business. And, you know, how do you say it out here? Merci beaucoup. Is that Merci beaucoup? Yeah. Merci beaucoup, motherfuckers. <laughs> Half done. Uh, so if you want to answer to, I don't know. Okay, properly. On, be on behalf of Powerflow, Cypress Hill, Biohazard, Downset and Fair Factory, Christian Royce, and me, we fucking love you, motherfuckers. <laughs>